And it's, it's almost as though the tables get turned here that the, the people of the, of the promise of Abraham and Sarah will be represented by Hagar, the bond slave, by Mount Sinai under the law in the temporal Jerusalem. And then God will turn the tables on everything and say those who are of the Spirit, those who are of the seed of Abraham, and we know along the way that we have to include the Gentiles into the seed of Abraham. So now we're, we're talking spiritually now. They now are of the free men, the free woman of Sarah. Of Sarah. And they're born of the Spirit. Their, their birth is from the Spirit, from the promise. You are of the promise that God gave to Abraham. You are of those innumerable stars in the heavens that God has said belong to the house of Abraham. That's to the Gentile and to the Jew alike who believe, who are no longer under the law, but are now under the blood of Christ. So what a glorious backstory Genesis 21 literally is. One is a temporal day and the other is an eternal day. One is present in this world and the other is of the eternal Mount Zion above. One is disinherited and the other is heirs of the promise. And so how does this, what does this look like? Well, <laughs> blessed be the name of the Lord. He continues on in chapter 5. 